So, Coach, how was the how was the bye week for the defense? What did you guys work on, and what have you seen out of your group so far this week? Well, uh, just like last week when I had talked to you, we had had a couple practices, and then uh, after that practice, the coaches all went on the road and did some recruiting for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And so, i uh, trying to you know ID and uh, communicate with uh, you know coaches and stuff like that on who the next guys are that we need to recruit. Getting back to practice this week, do you see a new energy from the players taking a little bit of time off? Yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, uh, we've had an opportunity to get an extra pra a full practice in on Sunday, which we normally don't get, and then uh, gave them Monday off, came back and had uh, Tuesday and Wednesday practices, and there's a little bit more bounce in their step, probably feeling a little bit better because they didn't have a game and a little bit more rested up, and uh, we just got to carry that energy throughout the week in practice and, and have it carry over on Saturday. Cal has struggled on the road, but what do you see out of them personally? Yeah, well, they've been kind of the tale of two teams. You know, their first three games, they looked really good and, and played really well. And then the last three games, they've struggled a little bit. And so, uh, you know, certainly they've had their issues with turnovers, and we've had our issues getting turnovers. So we'll hopefully we can uh, get the opportunity to take the ball away from them a little bit this game. Just talking about Cal's offense in general, you know, Bo Baldwin running that, or running that offense. What have you seen from Cal in terms of when they've, you know, in the tail of two halves, and what do they do well, and what is or what are maybe some things that you guys are looking to get after? Well, probably they're probably one of the most multiple offenses that we have seen so far. You're going to see a lot of different personnel groups out there. You're going to see four or five different personnel groups out of them. Uh, so they have the ability to get big on you, and they also will spread you out and get four wide receivers out there on the field. And so they'll mix it up. And so uh, you know that, that presents its own challenges, being able to match up with all those different personnel groups that they have. They have a wide range of run game. They're going to use you know direct tailback runs. They're going to use quarterback read runs, and then they're going to use uh, quarterback design runs where the quarterback's keeping the ball no matter what. And so all of those things, along with their passing game, it, you know, it's a it's a challenging offense. And then you'll see probably more what we call empty sets, where they have no back in the backfield from them than than other teams that we faced. What's the biggest challenge in facing a team that has different kind of personnel like that? I guess. I uh, just uh, matching up your personnel with them and and making sure that you know the, your game plan doesn't get away from you, where you have too many calls for the guys to go out and execute efficiently. They've turned the ball over quite a bit here in the Pac-12. Is there anything you can see? that you guys can take advantage of, or is that just kind of maybe the way the games have gone, or, or how excited are you guys to maybe well, have that chance? To yeah, no, no, we, we, we've certainly pointed those things out to the players and showed us some of the video of them uh, where they've had some of the turnovers and everything like that. And so, uh, you know, just trying to get the guys excited about the, you know, that this team has struggled holding onto the football and so that we got to keep attacking and trying to, to go after the football. Since he's been back at practice, what have you been able to see from uh, Jeremy Reichner? And then if he's able to go on Saturday, what do you think he can maybe bring to that defensive line you guys have been missing a little yeah, bit? Yeah, he's been limited. You know what I mean? He's kind of on a rep count right now. And so he has not fully been cleared yet. So we're still kind of waiting from the trainers to make sure that he can fully go. And just trying to, it's great to have him back out there. And uh, he's getting his feet wet again. You know, it's been a long time since he's been able to put a helmet on and, and go out there and practice. And so if he's able to go, I know he wants to. And so uh, we'll, we'll see if he's ready and cleared for Saturday.